There is no doubt that AMD is king when it comes to integrated graphics. And whether you are using an AMD AP on your desktop or laptop, it always surpasses CPUs from Intel. The new Ryzen 6000 mobile processors, also known as Rembrandt APUs, are currently dominating with its RDNA 2 based iGPUs. And if you remember one of my videos from the last year, I talked about how Radeon 680M can replace a budget GPU. With this much improvement in iGPUs, especially in laptops, I was hoping that the next gen iGPUs would simply destroy the current budget GPUs. But I think this may not go the way we wanted because recently a benchmark of one of the upcoming flagship laptop APUs was leaked and the numbers do not look that impressive. The user Golden Pig posted some screenshots on Bilibili forum that show us the 3D Mark Time Spy score of this new mobile APU. It is the Ryzen 7940HS with Radeon 780M iGPU and according to the user's statement, he tested it at max TDP of 64 watts as well as on a log TDP of 25 watts. The results show that the graphics score of 780M at 64 watts is 2791 while at 25 watts it just decreases by 12% to 2486. The 780M might look impressive at such a low TDP but for reference, if we take the numbers of some budget GPUs right now, the 780M is not that far away from a 1050Ti. Worse, it is almost equivalent to the 680M that gets a score of 2732 with the Ryzen 6900HS. This means that theoretically the 780M won't be even as good as a GTX 1650 and you could probably play games only on medium settings at 1080p resolution. However, I believe that the iGPU is looking absolutely fine if you would want to save some significant power consumption because at nearly 156% less power consumption, the iGPU still delivers impressive results. Still when we look at 680M, the 780M should have done much better and considering that the leaked benchmark was the flagship mobile APU we have to be disappointed. On the other side, Intel is also working on the next-gen Battlemage GPUs which are supposedly going to be split between discrete and integrated solutions. In a recent interview with Hardware Lux, Intel's fellow Tom Peterson confirmed the new XE2 architecture which will be split between the LPG and HPG solutions. So just like the Alchemist GPUs, we are going to see low performance as well as high performance graphics GPUs where the low performance XE2 LPG architecture will be used on next gen CPUs while the XE2 HPG architecture will power the Battlemage discrete graphics cards. It should be kept in mind that the XC2 LPG is unlikely to come on Meteor Lake CPUs, which are the first to come with a chiplet design featuring a dedicated GFX chip on the processor itself. So the XC2 LPG is most likely going to be available on Intel's Lunar Lake processors. We currently don't have any information about how good Intel's iGPUs will be, but it is highly unlikely that they are going to beat AMD's latest desktop and mobile iGPUs. Not only they are going to collide with each other in the iGPU category, but the new mobile CPU war is already on. Currently the fastest mobile CPU we have from AMD is the 8 core 16 thread Ryzen 6900HX and from Intel we have the core i9-12900HX. As many as 7 CPUs from the Alder Lake family easily beats the 6900HX in the Passmark test but recently Passmark's database got updated with the newly released Ryzen 9 7845HX CPU that scored a whopping 46,791 points. In comparison to the i9-12900HX and the 12950HX, it is 31% and 41% faster respectively and almost 90% faster than the 6900HX. This is mostly due to the higher core and thread count of the 7845HX but it's very much possible that Intel's upcoming Raptor Lake CPUs for laptops that will include the i9-3900 and the 3950HX processors will outperform the 7840HX due to even higher core count. But if this happens, AMD also has an even faster 7945HX processor that brings 16 cores and 32 threads. So most likely, it is not going to be very easy for Intel to beat AMD by a big margin. Now even though we don't know how much powerful these new Intel processors will be, but we will find out soon because laptop manufacturers like Gigabyte and Acer have already started taking pre-orders for laptops featuring the i9-3900HX CPUs and the NVIDIA's high-end RTX 4080 and 4090 GPUs. On the other hand, AMD is not going to delay its mobile CPUs launch and the first batch of 7000 series based laptops will also start shipping this month featuring 4 different 7000 processors including the 7845 and the flagship 7945HX. 
Now, even though this is the battle for the fastest CPU, I'm also very much interested to see the performance of the mid-range options. That includes the 7745 and the 7645HX. That's it for today's video. Let me know your thoughts about this upcoming CPU battle and who do you think will win the fastest CPU war. I'm also interested to know your opinions about the Radeon 780M and if it also disappoints you. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any latest updates and I will see you in the next one.